Welcome to AIO Tests. With AI being the buzzword of the year and becoming second nature to our daily routine, AIO Tests is not staying behind and has introduced AI capabilities with a mission to deliver better every day. In this video, we will discuss on the AI developments that are now live on AIO Tests. To start with, you might want to enable the AI Assistant by simply clicking on Project Settings on the right-hand side, and on the left, you see an Advanced button. Simply toggle the button that says Enable AI Features for Users. Once done, you can refresh the page and you will be able to use AI Assistant feature. You can generate test cases based on the JIRA requirement or based on manual text input. Let us take an example by using an existing JIRA requirement. In my case, I will take AS46 story, and then by default, issue summary and description will be sent to AIO tests as input. Currently, we support both classic and BDD type test cases. If you need fields like acceptance criteria or any other custom fields to be input, they will be detected under advanced options. In case you wish to change the output language, it can be chosen from project settings, general preferences, and clicking on AI output language. At an advanced level, you can also choose what type of cases you wish to generate. It can be positive, negative, edge cases, or can leave it blank to generate all type of cases. Note that AIO or OpenAI does not store any of your data while these operations are being performed. In my situation, I will not choose any type of case and I want to see all type of cases together. So once we are done with this, we can simply click on Generate Cases, and a few seconds of time, cases will be generated. As you can see, the AI Assistant has generated eight different cases, considering positive, negative, edge. All type of cases have been generated. For each type of case, AI has also generated the required steps where you can make the changes, you can edit those steps. You have the full authority to make changes over here. In case you want to add some details like conditions, custom fields, any other JIRA requirement, or maybe you want to change the ownership or priority, just how the operations are covered under regular cases button, the same way you can repeat those operations over here. Once you are done adding all the details, you can simply click on Create Case and then it will help you saving the case into that folder that you have selected. So this was about AI Assistant feature under AIO test. For sake of convenience, you might want to create AI-based cases right away from Jira. Let us have a closer look on this feature live from the Jira panel. As you can see, I have the Jira panel and I am opening a story that says S46 the same story used previously. If you click on this story and scroll down, you will get to see AIO tests over here. Once you click on the cases section, you will see a sweet AI button, and if you click on that, you will be able to generate cases directly without going to AIO tests every time. As you can see, there are a couple of cases that has now been generated with an option to review and save or discard. Let us select one of the case that we might want to review. As I click on Review button, it takes you to a new box where you can see the steps page that has been created by AI. You can select Edit or Add New Step or Delete a New Step, or simply you can add other details as mentioned before. Similar to previously mentioned, if you want to add custom fields or any particular precondition, or maybe change the JIRA requirement or add attachments, whatever you wish to do. You can do that and it will get added right away from JIRA. To save this case, I will just add a sample effort of one hour. Congratulations! This AI generated case has now been saved under the desired folder successfully. Concluding, this was a brief on capability of creating AI-based cases from AIO tests or Vajira panel directly. Let us now jump into our next AI feature, that is the ability to update the steps under cases using AI suggestions. AIO tests also allows you to modify your test case steps that is step-specific 
and fix grammatical mistakes in them with the help of AI. Whether you need AI-powered suggestions to improve test cases, identify missing test case steps, or want to correct grammatical errors, the test management tool lets you do it with ease. You can always enable or disable AI-based suggestions with a dedicated AI button on the step page. Now, let us go ahead and see this particular step can be improved or not. If you click on Improve, as you can see our AI assistant edited those steps and gave you a Suggestion button over here. You can also compare the original versus the suggestion and select accordingly. In case you want to exit AI mode, you can simply click on Exit and it will take you back to Steps page. You can also go ahead with fixing grammatical issues for your steps. For example, there might be a grammatical issue in the existing step here. AI Assistant will change that particular step and edit it for your convenience. So that was all about the AI suggestion feature that can be enabled or disabled with just one click. A few important considerations for every Atlassian instance. You get 2,50,000 tokens every month credited to your account. These tokens expire automatically at the month end and are credited at the first day of next month. Every time you generate cases using AIO Test's AI Assistant feature, the percentage shown for the usage will get updated. You may also set your own token limit by creating an account with OpenAI and generating your own API key. Once AIO's limit expires, tokens from your instance's limit will be utilized. So, that was a short introduction on AI capabilities. If you wish to see any other cool AI feature under AIO Test, you can simply mention it in the comments or you can reach us at help at AIOTest.com. See you in our next briefing.